soul. It's a joy to be a Lutheran pastor. Say amen. amen. It is especially a joy on Reformation morning to be a Lutheran pastor, to hear the truth, this great gospel truth, flow from the scriptures, speak from the word of God, and to be privileged to be opportune to share it with people like you. To stand in front of you on a Sunday morning like this Sunday morning, all, all dressed up in red, and to speak truth to you that comes from the very heart and will and desire and mind of the eternal God of all creation. It is such a blessing. So I want to take you to a word that Jesus spoke this morning. He spoke it to his disciples. He spoke it to those who didn't know who he was. He spoke it loud. He spoke it clear. He does speak it this morning too in exactly the same way for your life and mine. Listen to what he says. Jesus says, if you abide in my word, listen, if you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples and you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. If you're a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, if He is your Savior, say He is. He is. If you're a follower of Jesus and are going to follow Him, forgiven people all the way to heaven, say, I am. I am. So think about this. You were a baby, maybe. <laughs> or in grade school. Maybe you were a teenager. You were a young adult away at college. Or a young married. Maybe you were middle-aged, maybe old age had already risen on the horizon of your life. At some place, at some place, if what you just expressed out loud is the truth of your heart, at some place, at some moment, at some time, the Lord came into your life through the good news of Jesus and He made you His own. He spoke to your heart. He grabbed a hold of your soul. <coughs> Jesus became not just this person at a distance, Jesus became this living Savior right here. All of a sudden in your life, although maybe it didn't feel sudden, maybe if you were little enough you weren't even aware of it, all of a sudden in your life, all the terms of your living changed. Maybe you didn't know it, but they did. Not just the moment, although the moment, not just the moment, all the way, all the way to eternity for you in that moment had absolutely changed. And that, listen, and that was just the start. That was, the, that, was, that was just the onset. That was just, just the beginning. Our life in the Lord, this place where He came, reached out and grabbed your heart, mine too. Our life in the Lord is meant by this kind and gracious God to last for the long haul, for a lifetime and beyond. This morning, this morning, Jesus says something really remarkable to us. He tells us that the key to that longevity, to staying in relationship with Him all the way to eternity, the key is His Word. See, you see, the, the Scripture reflects this truth, that Jesus takes this Word, His Word, this Word spoken and preached and proclaimed and prayed and sung, Jesus takes this simple word and He uses it to take and grab a hold of the hearts that He has made His own, the souls that He has claimed as His own, so that He can hang on to us all the way to eternity. From the mouth, from the lips, from the face of an earthen vessel like this pastor and every Christian pastor. This Jesus, this kind Savior, He speaks and as he speaks, this word has such power, such wonder, that it reaches out to the people whose not just ears, but hearts are open. And it wraps itself, this Jesus with his word, wraps itself around the heart and the soul and the life so that he can hang on to you and me all the way to eternity. We start, we start the moment he claims us. But that is, loved ones, you hear me this morning, Jesus is telling us this, that is just the beginning. And then He speaks into our lives on Sunday mornings like this. Sometimes it's interesting, sometimes it's not. Sometimes it catches us, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes the preacher is colorful, sometimes he isn't. But this, listen, this word of this eternal God is always powerful, always rich, always true, and, 
And he takes that word and he reaches into your heart and mind, into our souls. And he grabs a hold and he hangs on. Yet isn't it ironic, isn't it just the most ironic thing that being in his word as his people is so hard for us? Well, I'll give you the catalog, but it's not complete. We don't have time this morning. This idea that if I am going to stay connected to Christ, if he is going to hang on to me, that I need to be drowned in the depth of his word. Jesus speaking to me. And yet we will as human beings. We will. I'm too busy. I have too much to do. I don't understand it. It's too hard to read. I don't get it all. It's too much for me. And the list drifts from our lives on and on. Just so you know, preacher too. There is this word that Jesus uses to grip our grace-filled hearts with his grace-filled hands. And he wants to do that every single day of our lives so that we can stay his own all the way to eternity. That's a hard thing for us. Yet I want you to hear this morning, my loved ones, it is absolutely essential. It is essential to our relationship with him. And so Jesus gives us the why. Listen. He tells you and I as his beloved children that it is abiding in his word. Listen to me this morning. It is abiding in his word that keeps you and I grounded in the truth. This wondrous, gracious, grace-filled, Jesus-filled word is that which teaches your heart and mind what the truth actually is. I want you to hear this this morning. We will never find out out there in the world what the truth is about who God is or who we are or what we need or what God can provide for us. We never will. He takes this kind word, this gracious Savior, he takes this word and as he speaks the word to us, he's teaching our minds and teaching our hearts what the truth is. What the truth is about the God who created us. What the truth is about us as human beings. What the truth is about how much this God loves us and, and what this God has done so that we can be His own. All of that truth flowing from the Word of Jesus, teaching our hearts and our minds. As we settle on the Word, listen, loved ones, as we settle on His Word, the Word is also teaching you and me what isn't true. Because don't you know? There's a whole bunch of spirituality out there that has nothing to do with what's really true. It might, it might sound good to us. It might seem to be okay. It is only in being filled up with this gracious, true word of Jesus that you and I can discern. We can tell the difference. And in that word, as, as he speaks to our hearts and lives, God is doing something so kind and so loving. He is, listen, he is safeguarding his children. As parents, if we could, from the time our kids were little, until they were big and beyond, if we could build a great big fence around them and protect them from all the things that might hurt them in life, which one of us wouldn't have the hammer out right now? We could build a stockade around our loved ones in such a way that the world would never touch them in any way that would be hurtful or harmful to them. We build right now. Well, hear me this morning. This word, this abiding truth of Jesus, this word is God's fence around us as his children. He knows way better than we do how much danger there is for us out in the world, how vulnerable we are to the, to the machinations of the evil one out in the world. And so God takes this word of truth and says, child, I want you to know, not just for your head, for your heart and your life, I'm going to build a fence around you. And so we, we hear this word, and it's such a remarkable thing that he takes this word and he, he covers us over and he plants it deep inside of us and he claims us and holds on to us. And then, listen children, and then he takes us one step further. Jesus tells us that when we know the truth, listen, 
when we know the truth through His Word, that truth sets us free. It frees us. It frees us from the weight and worry of our sin. Because the Word tells us exactly what the terms are. And it is such good news. We come on Sunday mornings like this, and through His Word, this Jesus speaks. He speaks to this truth that every sin of, the, of every life of every child of mine, because I've shed my blood, I've given my life, I've paid the price, I've taken the punishment. Jesus says to each one of, one of us as His children, every sin of your life, I've forgiven. They're gone. Reaches out and just takes the weight off our shoulders. All the things that we sit and worry about, lay awake and worry about in the brokenness of our lives, Jesus says, no, 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 child, uh -uh, no, no, I've already taken care of that for you. You're forgiven. It's okay. It's all right. I love you. This truth, think of this, this truth, every week, every week, week after week, God calls us together and loves us together and speaks this truth. And it lifts the burden off. I came in here this morning, early. I came with my week, like wearing dirty clothes, you know? Came with all the smearing and smudging and wasting and, well, you know, all the stuff in my life I wonder if you did too. I came here today with all the parts of my life, the good ones and most especially the bad ones, the broken ones, I did. And then in this place, Jesus speaks his truth. He said, Jim, you're forgiven. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Here is truth in your life today. You're forgiven. I know your heart, your mind, your days, your nights, your weekends. I know it all about you. You, I love you. You're forgiven. And then he takes that truth that frees us and he, he assures our minds and our lives and we, we need not be anxious about the future because this kind Savior, this is the truth. He holds our future in his hands. He is the resurrected one. He has a life for us. And it's never going to come to an end. That's the truth. And you know, as we, as we hear him speak that truth into our lives, it just settles things for us. What I was afraid of, I need not be afraid of. What I was up against, I need not be fearful of. What I feel weak in, He is strong in. What I feel hopeless about, He gives me hope. It is the truth, the power of His Word. As He speaks it into our lives, it just raises us as His children. So listen again. Listen again, loved ones. Listen to the full promise of the Lord for us. Jesus says... If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples, and you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Our life in the Lord, it is not a here today, gone tomorrow. It's not a fad or a passing fancy. He wants it to stretch from here all the way to eternity. And so again this morning, he, he draws us to His Word, speaks it to our hearts and minds. His kind and gracious and powerful Word. All part of loved ones. All part of keeping us as His own for the long haul. On this morning in His house, this is a teaching of the Lord. If you would rise, please.